<laughs> We're doing a demonstration today uh, showing the uh, RAM optical instrumentation's uh, measurement of the thread forms on the uh, neck of a bottle. Um, this machine is an 8 by 6 by 6 inch travel system. Uh, it's the only system we have available for demonstration right now at the end of the year. Um, a couple of things that we, we won't be able to do at this point is measure the overall length, certainly. Um, the bottle is just sitting on modeling clay. In uh, actual operation, it would need uh, to be set on uh, bell nose centers on uh, the back and front to hold it in position. We're measuring with the split line uh, straight up at this point, and I'll start the uh, inspection while I talk here. Uh, we're going to go down and measure the form on both sides. We'll measure the edges, measure the radiuses, the angles, uh, certainly a lot more than the dimensions that are required here. Um, the overall length certainly we can't report. And in this view, the L dimension, which is the idea of the bottle, can't be seen either. Now that can be handled in a couple of different ways. We can use a right angle mirror looking at the front or as we see in the second part of the demonstration when I measure the uh, thread to show roundness, we'll show how we'll measure that also. Now at this point we basically completed the measurement of the uh, threads. The dimensions are shown on the, the left side of the screen here. This is your program listing. The, all of the dimensions that we physically measured are on the screen. Um, everything does show itself in tolerance except for uh, dimension B. I'm sorry, dimension small g is the only thing that was out of tolerance on the model. Everything else is uh, intolerance. For the second part of the demonstration, we're just going to measure the neck of the bottle using the touch probe. And again, to get roundness on these, there's no way to do it without having the bottle sitting up and measuring with the probe. Um, with the video, certainly, and just rotating even on centers, we'd have to rely on the uh, inside uh, throat of the bottle being true enough that we were riding on a true center. So we'll conclude this portion right now. I'll set up for the second portion, and we'll start again. Okay, what we've done, I removed the bottle in the horizontal position and I cut the neck off one of the other bottles. This machine only has uh, six inches of travel in the z-axis and the length of the bottle was 9.15. So certainly we could measure it standing up. Now we do have machines with a 12 inch z-axis where we could accommodate the uh, bottle as it sits. But what we're doing now is we're going to measure the ID of the bottle using the video and then we'll use the touch probe to measure the three diameters that require the uh, six point measurements for roundness. We're using the Renishaw probes and uh, probe changer so the probe was on the machine that parked it. We're measuring the inside diameter and now we'll go pick up the probe and measure the other three diameters with the probe. Again, as we're moving uh, around the thread, the thread is certainly at an angle on the uh, first measurement here, um, we're actually teaching it or telling the machine where to measure. So it would require the, the bottle being set up near the same orientation on the machine so that we'd have the split line facing forward. Certainly if it was off uh, 5 or 10 degrees, it wouldn't make any difference, but we couldn't have it off 30 or 40. Again, we can take as many points as we want with the probe by uh, using this method. I'm taking six or more points on each one of the circles at this time to get the dimensions. And to do what you need to do with the this application, I would I would guess that you would need a uh, 18 by 18 inch machine. That's the smallest one we make with a 12 inch Z. And it would certainly let you measure multiple bottles at the same time in the uh, horizontal position, as well as bottles in the vertical position, using the touch probe to measure the thread measurements that require the runout. Again, there's no real way that we can do the runout measurements with the video. 
And that concludes the measurement on the part. Um, we'll send with this CD uh, two additional files with the measurements on them. And uh, certainly most of the measurements were inspected around this. I put a 5,000th tolerance on it. Um, there was nothing on the print that showed what roundness should be. And I think they're showing out of tolerance a little bit here. But other than that, the uh, part certainly is measurable on the machine without a big issue.